We'll give you a ride home. I find myself riding in the back seat of a dark blue beat up late model caddy El Dorado with three other teenagers, all on probation. Pit breaking and entering, burglary, receiving stolen goods, possession of burglary tools, and assault with a deadly weapon. Richie Kennefick, manslaughter. Mike Malahi, second degree murder. I don't know the driver, some giddy kid, Tony, I think, out of Little Italy, Arthur Avenue, Belmont, or something, I don't know. Nobody in the car is older than 16. Mike Malahi, the homicide, is 15. They're all high school dropouts, chronic truants. I still attend prestigious Bronx High School of Science, spending my entire school day slumped over, my head on my desk in a puddle of my own saliva, passed out, sleeping off the previous night's latest drunken binges hangover. Uh, where'd you get the car, Tony? My boss gave it to me! Ha ha ha! Everybody laughs but me. I'm not on probation. I'm enlisting in the United States Coast Guard as soon as I turn 17 next month. I'm high on pot, drunk on cold 45 malt liquor. It's past midnight. I got class the next day, or more accurately, later on this morning. What I don't have is a criminal record, at least not yet. Maybe I may be sleeping my life away, but it's still in the relative safety of a public high school classroom and not on Rikers Island. Uh, Tony, is this car stolen? No! My boss give it to me! Ha ha ha! Everybody laughs but me. Ha ha ha! Eh, no, no, I got the pink slips on and everything in the registration in the glove compartment. Tony is maybe 16. He can't drive a vehicle legally within the five boroughs of New York City, not without a licensed driver over the age of 18, a chaperone. So, I don't think it matters that he has all the necessary insurance forms in the glove compartment. Pitt has a fake New York State license issued from the city of Warwick in rural upstate Orange County that says he's 18, but again, I don't think that's going to prove very helpful. We get pulled over by the cops. Five white boys in a Cadillac cruising through a Puerto Rican neighborhood in the wee hours of the morning is bound to attract some unwanted attention from law enforcement officers. It's 1974, and under the New York State Penal Code, getting arrested while riding in a stolen vehicle carries the same criminal penalties as if you were the actual offender who hotwired the car. Then Governor Nelson Rockefeller enacted the harsh statute response to a rising tide of crime statistics involving juvenile delinquents, specifically joyriding teenagers just like this jolly little motor junk. I'm not enjoying this midnight excursion, not one little bit. Suddenly, I wish I had taken the D-train instead and simply taken my chances with all the muggers, street gangs, and heroin addicts riding the subway at that hour. Pitt, Kennefick, Malay, and Tony did not seem to be deterred by this draconian law not one little bit. They just didn't give a shit. Yeah, man, check out the papers in the glove compartment. They're right underneath the 45 automatic. Careful, it's loaded. Ho, ho, ho. Everybody's laughing but me. Hardy fucking hard assholes. I'm riding around town in a stolen car with three known teen felons with outstanding warrants, some junior Genevieve's crime family wannabe with a fully loaded semi-automatic handgun in the glove compartment. And these mooks start passing around an open quart bottle of gallo Thunderbird. No use driving if you ain't drunkenly driving, huh? I suppose. So much for my application to Columbia College. I'll be matriculating at the Rye Tactical Institute next fall. I gotta bail and right now. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this uh, this here's Claremont Park. Uh, I'm straight down the uh, the uh, East Ernstburn Avenue from here. I'll just walk the rest of the way from here. Uh, uh, go ahead, just pull over. Hey, Mike, we can drop you right in front of your own door. No, 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 right here's good. You're sure, Mike? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, see you. I did finally enlist in the U.S. Coast Guard and, and obtained two degrees from Columbia University. All the other teenagers in that car wound up doing hard time at various correctional facilities throughout the New York State area. Eventually, 
I did acquire a personal rap sheet myself, assaulting a police officer with a deadly weapon. But as I say, that is another story for another time. <laughs>